Hey guys, how's it going? So, in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my custom thumbnails. So, custom thumbnails, if you don't know, uh, is what appears on your video when you search for stuff in YouTube or if you're on someone's channel page. And um, they really make uh, videos a lot more attractive to click on if you have a cool looking thumbnail with a lot of information about the video. So, custom thumbnails, uh, as of now, are available to, I think, most people who monetize their videos. I'm not sure everyone has it yet, but I know YouTube are rolling it out for uh, all monetization partners. Um, eventually, I think I got it on my channel, but I am now partnered with uh, Creator X, so I have custom thumbnails uh, through my partnership. So basically, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this in Photoshop, and by no means am I an expert at Photoshop. I'm really a beginner, but these are really simple to make. So hopefully uh, this will be interesting for you to watch and may help you make your own custom thumbnails. So what I've got here in front of me is three uh, templates that I use for my videos. You can see here is my Dawnguard Let's Play uh, custom thumbnails, my High Elf Mage and my Max Payne 3. All looks very simple. So to begin with, when I start making a thumbnail, uh, when I started making this one, this uh, the background image is a screenshot of my character in game, and this is very simple to do. If you've on, if you're on Steam and you're playing the game, just press F12 and you will take a screenshot. Uh, you can then go into your Steam uh, folder on your um, computer and you can find the screenshots. And basically, all you do is drag this in here or open it as a new file um, and stretch it out to the video to the. Uh, image size and I would recommend using the uh, 1280 by 720p uh, or not p but the size of the image as this works best and uh, there's really not much point using 10, 1080 um, because uh, it'll not make any difference on the thumbnail and it'll help keep the file size down as you're only allowed to upload I think it's up to 2 megabyte at the minute so uh, that's basically what I did I did very little effects in this well, actually, none on this um, particular image. And so, yeah, I just stretched that out. Um, then all I did was put in some text for my the title of the video, which is Let's Play Dawnguard. Usually I put these at the top, uh, as it's easy to see. Um, then a very important part, if you're doing a series of videos or parts, is you have the episode number or part number. And uh, this really helps people find your videos if they're clicking from one video to another. Um, so usually the first thing I look at is the number on it. So it's very important to have it nice and big. Usually in one of the bottom corners works well. Or if you don't have a background image, just put it in the middle somewhere. Somewhere easy to see. And make sure it is pretty big. Um, see what the size this is actually. Uh, that's 271. So it's pretty big. Um, other things you might want to put in is uh, episode titles or something like that. Or something that describes your particular video I've got the vampire hunter here because that's what I'm doing on Dawn Guard I'm a vampire hunter um, so you can put that in that's pretty optional if you want um, but yeah it's really simple to make these I'll look show you my other one it's my high elf maze it's the same concept uh, I've got a screen cap of my character and um, played around just got a nice shot um, same again let's play Skyrim I put the high elf mage in uh, again that's not necessary but it helps uh, when I do future playthroughs I'll put different uh, titles here and again, the part number is very important. And the last thing I'm going to show you is Max Payne 3. Again, very simple. I got this off Google. You just type in Max Payne 3. Um, this is one of the cover photos. And it's pretty simple. Same again. Let's play. And then the number is up in this uh, corner this time. And this image is pretty much uh, all from uh, the Google image I got. If you take that away, you see, this is pretty much all I've done. Add two texts. And as it's that simple, you can edit this if you want. And take as long to do it. You can, you know, crop your face and blend it and all that. But for me, I don't do that. I like to keep things simple and as quick as possible. Um, I do most of my thumbnails on Photoshop uh, either on this computer or on my laptop, which I have a few other ones. I have Fallout Three in that, and I've got my new Borderlands Two thumbnails on it too. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This is Photoshop CS Six, uh, the extended edition. Um, my laptop has the CS5, both work fine. You can also use Paint, um, it's free and it's pretty good too. You, some of the features are a little different, um, but I really can't see why you wouldn't have a problem making this as all you're really doing is dragging a background image in um, and putting some text over the top. It's really not hard. So I'll show you some of these other ones I have. Um, let's see. So yeah, 
here's one I have for making Sky Skyrim mods, uh, how to do it. I see it's just a plain black background with a few images. Uh, again, nice big text. Uh, white's very easy to see uh, on a black background, is why I picked that. So that's very simple again. Um, you can actually see here, here's another Let's Play Don Guard one. Um, this is one of the first ones I tried, which I didn't actually use. You can see it's a bit smaller, the text. And I added the background image a bit more, it's a different image. Um, but you see, you see, this is why I didn't use this. Um, the background image, uh, it's a bit too over edited for me. Uh, the text is a bit small and it's not as easy to see as the other ones. So I'll show you here. See, it's a lot easier to see. It's a nicer background image, a lot more clear. Um, so you see the size of these are mostly around 810 kilobytes, which is pretty small. Um, depends what kind of background image you have, really. Um, so here's some other ones too. Here's my Modern Warfare 3 ones. Um, just again a screen cap of the game. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 title, the title of the episode, episode number and the map it's on. Uh, again very simple to do. And uh, don't think of any other ones here. Some old Fallout 3 ones I've got in this. I'm using different ones now. Um, they're on my laptop. But again you can see nice background image. Uh, just double this image on both sides. But on Let's Play, got an image of our PNG on Google of Fallout 3 and the part number. So as you can see I keep things very simple and it's really not hard to do um, if you're lucky enough to have the option for custom thumbnails um, and you're not a partner um, it's really a great addition to have and you're really lucky to have it so uh, I think that's about it for this so there's really nothing else to say um, usually when I save these um, I save them as a JPEG and basically all I do is for creating new ones I just click on this and change the number so it's 12, so it was 13 now. Go to save as, and change it to 13, and JPEG, and save. And you should just keep it maximum, as long as it's under two megabytes, okay. Baseline standard, just leave all that, and okay. And that's that saved. So if we go in here now, we can see it. And these are all pretty much the same, just the number changes. Very nice indeed. So. That's about it, I think, for this. Uh, if you have any other questions about this, uh, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a message. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.